Greetings everyone. Today I have come up with two parts of my video lesson. And this is just to avoid jumbling of topics in one video. Well, in this first part, we will learn about seeds and fruits. And these are the learning goals to be achieved. One, classify seeds based on cotyledons and endosperm. Two, Explain seed dormancy and its importance. 3. Identify the conditions necessary for seed germination. 4. Describe the three types of seed germination. 5. Differentiate between simple aggregate and composite fruits. And 6. Highlight the importance of fruits. As learned in the post-fertilization modifications, Seeds are formed as the product of fertilization from a matured ovule. Structurally, seeds have three essential parts consisting of an embryo which is formed from the zygote, the endosperm which is formed from the triploid PEC and the seed coat derived from the two integuments. The embryo consists of cotyledons, plumule and radical. And cotyledons are the embryonic leaf in the seed which stores nutrients and are thick in uh, cases of the non-endospermic seeds. In the endospermic seeds, the cotyledons are thin and papery. Uh, plumule which is the meristem uh, present at the tip of the epicortal gives rise to the shoot system and at the basal tip of the hypocortal is the radical which gives rise to the root system. Now depending on the number of cotyledons in the seed it can be classified into a monocotyledonous seed with only uh, one cotyledon as in uh, maize and dicotyledonous seeds with two cotyledons as in uh, groundnut. Similarly, based on the presence or the absence of residual endosperm, seeds can be of two types, albuminous or endospermic seed or exalbuminous or non-endospermic seed. Seeds which ha uh, such as the castor, maize, rice, uh, wheat, cotton are examples of albuminous seeds and uh, pea, grams, uh, beans are examples of exalbuminous seeds. The most basic function of a seed is to help in the continuation of the species by germination. However, most seeds do not germinate immediately. There is an innate period of dormancy in seeds. Seed dormancy is a, a state where there is lack of germination in a seed even though the required conditions are provided. Now some of the reasons of seed dormancy could be 1. Uh, the immaturity of the embryo. 2. Uh, presence of the hard and impermeable seed coat or three, uh, it might be caused by the presence of inhibiting chemicals inside the seed. Seed germination therefore requires breaking of seed dormancy and this can occur naturally with the uh, maturation of the embryo or with the release of growth hormones by the seed or it can also be induced artificially by various physical or chemical treatments. Having said that, seed dormancy do serve the following benefits to the plants as well as to us. Firstly, it allows the seeds to overcome unfavorable conditions like drought, acidity or cold. And secondly, it promotes a dispersal, a dispersal of the seeds at desired time and can be transported to new environments. In addition, 
Seed dormant C can also facilitate storing of seeds or grains for later use in food industry, agriculture or in research work. Now in this context, a team of archaeologists in Israel has been fascinated to have succeeded in growing date palm trees from seeds which are about 2000 years old. So we can infer from such incredible findings that seeds which are dormant are still alive. Uh, after breaking the seed dormancy, the embryo begins to produce a new plant out of the seed. And a successful germination undoubtedly requires suitable substratum for the seed, such as uh, soil, water, uh, sorry, uh, paper, cotton, or uh, even sawdust. And most seeds prefer enough moisture for germination. Uh, but excess of water must be avoided uh, as it can limit oxygen supply and can cause rotting of seeds. Uh, temperature too influences the rate of germination. Likewise, uh, seeds have specific uh, light requirement for their germination. And during such a phase of active growth, the seeds are in constant need of energy uh, which can be produced efficiently in the presence of oxygen. Under proper uh, conditions, the seed begins to germinate. And depending on the way the shoots emerges, seed germination can be of uh, three types, epigeal, hypogeal or viviparate. In epigeal germination, hypocotyl elongates and the cotyledons are pushed above the ground. Plants such as beans, tamarind, uh, papaya, castor uh, germinates in this way. Uh, in the second type, which is called as hypogeal germination, epicotyl elongates and the cotyledons uh, stay underground. Plants like uh, peas, gram, uh, mango, maize are examples for this type of germination. In mangrove plants, uh, which grow in marshy areas, the seed germinates while it is still attached to the parent plant. And uh, the embryonic growth continues till the hypocotyl and the radical becomes several centimeters long. Now, as it becomes heavier, uh, the seedlings are going to break off and falls down in such a way that uh, the tip of the radical gets fixed into the mud. So, in this way, uh, the seeds are adapted to cope with the excess salt and oxygen deficient uh, marshy habitat. Well, angel sperms are the only plants uh, which has the seeds enclosed in the fruit. And botanically, a uh, true fruit is a ripened ovary. In some cases, uh, fruits are formed from other parts of the flowers such as thalamus, uh, sepals, petals or even uh, the inflorescence. Such fruits are called as false fruits. Uh, for example, uh, fruits such as apple, strawberry, uh, cashew, uh, are examples of uh, false fruits as these are formed from the thalamus. Now broadly speaking, uh, fruits can be grouped into three types, simple, aggregate and composite fruits. Fruits uh, which are formed from a single ovary of a single flower uh, are called as simple fruits. Uh, this includes fruits like mango, oranges, grapes, uh, and pea, and many other uh, fruits. If fruits are formed from multiple pistils of a single flower, it is then called as aggregate fruits, as in uh, raspberry uh, and uh, blueberries. While some fruits are formed from the whole inflorescence, such fruits are called as composite fruits or multiple fruits. Uh, which includes fruits like pineapple, uh, jackfruit, uh, mulberry and fig. 
Now, why do plants have fruits? Fruits have both biological as well as uh, economic importance. It protects the seed from many uh, physical stresses and the sweet uh, colored and flavorful fruits attracts the animals as well as humans uh, who in turn helps in the dissemination of seeds to distant uh, new locations. Besides, eating fruits provides multiple health benefits as uh, fruits are the sources of many essential vitamins and minerals. Uh, the United States Department of Agriculture uh, encourages filling of uh, half of the plate with fruits and vegetables at meal times. So with this note, I come to the end of part one video on seeds and fruits.